So the Go Faster Bits Diverter Valve Plus. What I'm going to do in today's video is fit it to my set Leon Cooper R and see if it's a big improvement compared to the Vision D Diverter Valve that I've got currently fit. Hey everyone, welcome to another video from North Coast Workshop. Today's video, I'm going to be fitting a Go Faster Bits Diverter Valve Plus to my Seattle Leon Cooper R. Currently, I have the Revision G fitted to the car. This is a spare one I've got. But today's video will be showing you how to install the Go Faster Bits one. The breakdown process of removing this, transferring some parts from this one across to the Go Faster Bits version, and then installing it on the car and seeing if there's any noticeable improvement compared to the one that's on the car just now and the Go Faster Bits one. As far as I'm aware, there's been three revisions of the diverter valve on this model of car. I think it's also the same diverter valve that's on the Mark V Golf GTIs as well. There's a revision C, a revision D, which is what I've got on my car, and then a revision G as well. But I'm going to skip the stage of going from D to G and go straight onto the Go Faster Bits one. There is a video on YouTube, another YouTuber called Hemi. I'll pop his details below and the link to his YouTube channel. He did comparison from his Revision D to a Revision G model diverter valve and he noticed a big difference. He also thought, I think, that his D version had failed slightly because he noticed such a big improvement in boost. So yeah, go and check his channel out as well. He does really good comparison on the two diverter valves, also content on cars as well in general. So yeah, check him out. Anyway, we're nipped to my car now, get this started, take off the old Revision D diverter valve and put a new one on. So on this Cooper R, the diverter valve's at the front of the engine. This is a KO4 turbo version, but on other cars you'll find it down the back of the engine. I think for the KO3s, the diverter valve is actually down the back, beside the turbo itself. A lot trickier to get to. I think it's the Mark V Golf GTIs that have that, so yeah, a bit more awkward, but I'm fortunate to have it at the front of the engine, so a nice straightforward swap.
here over the noise of this racket of a car. So any noticeable difference between this and the old diverter valve? Definitely feel a difference when I'm changing gear and putting power back on and it's more responsive straight away as if the diverter valve is ready to respond more immediately than the last one was. Now I'm not going to go into the reasons of why this is more responsive than the old one. There's a full video on how these things work. I'll put a link below. But the basics of it is, is this Go Faster Bits Diverter Valve Plus lets through enough air. When you take your foot off the accelerator, it lets enough air get diverted back into the intake and then closes off in preparation for you putting your foot back on the accelerator pedal again. And that's why you get better response. But yeah, check out the video below to see how exactly it works. I can't really explain it very well myself. So I'm going to pop a wee screenshot just now. Also some charts for the Vision D boost settings and the new Go Faster Bits one to see if there's any noticeable difference. I haven't seen this yet so I'm not sure what, what the outcome was myself. But that's what the data shows anyway, but in day-to-day -day driving I definitely can feel a difference in the response. So long term the diverter valve tends to be more reliable than a standard diverter valve, although you do have to service it more often, I think with putting the, the oil around the piston ring every so often, just so that it doesn't seize up inside the diverter valve chamber itself, whereas a standard diverter valve would last forever apart from it might start to show wear and tear and let through leaks. And if you're hearing the diverter valve in the video at all, definitely the more noticeable than the last one was, but I could hear the last one as well. And this was because the intake I've got is a forged induction kit uh, on my car and that tends to let a lot more noise of the engine come through than you normally hear with a normal intake. So yeah it might be more the intake than the actual diverter valve causing all those noises. So yeah Overall, I'll be keeping this in the car. Definitely a marked improvement between gear changes, back on the throttle, and its instant response. But it might be more noticeable, I think, once I come to mapping the car. And we'll see the real benefits then to having this installed compared to a standard diverter valve. If you're looking just to upgrade the diverter valve from the C or D versions, then I'll pop a note down below just now of the part number for the version G. So apologies again about shouting over the noise of the engine and the road. But if you have enjoyed the video, then smash the thumbs up button. It really helps me out. Really appreciate it. And catch you on the next video. Cheers.